Hello everyone, and today I will show you how to get e better FPS and maybe even double or even triple your FPS in Lunar Client. And yeah guys, before the video begins, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe. I, it really helps me out and it very it encourages me to make more videos. And if you subscribe, and if you comment, I subscribed, then I will give you a shout out in one of my videos. And subscribe and turn on that post notification bell for more Minecraft videos like this. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so starting off, the first thing that will help you your FPS is uh, the, allo the RAM allocation. So load up Lunar Client and uh, look up here in the middle, it will say settings. Click on settings. Once you clicked on settings, it says there's a slider here and it says allocated memory. How much memory should we allocate to this game? So you so your whatever your max allocation is for me it's 5.9 gigabytes uh whatever you have you should have a half of that so if you have a four gigabyte allocation then you shouldn't do two and if you have two you should do one and if you have eight you should do four so just basically just half of your max so for me that's gonna be like around like three and 3 is actually the best allocated memory for FPS because it just it's not so much that it's going to lag your computer and it's not so bad that it's going to decrease your FPS. So, so once you have that done, you can go back to home and you can launch your Lunar Client again. And now we're going to move on to the in-game settings. So now we'll move on to the in-game settings to increase your FPS. So now you're going to want to hit the escape key on your keyboard of your computer. So press escape and then you're going to press options and then video settings. And this will come up. And in my opinion, I think these are like the best settings for FPS. So you're no so have your graphics at fast because you don't want it at fancy like you don't want fancy graphics for pvp and stuff i mean you can do it for survival and stuff but like don't just don't just switch this to fast if you don't already and smooth lighting uh and i don't think you should have this on in pvp it just increases fps if you just have it on off and yeah and the smooth lighting level of course you're gonna have that off and if you have like a good pre pretty decent computer you can just like rise it a little bit but if you want the max fps then you're gonna want to uh, smooth lighting off yeah and my uh, gui scale i don't think this um has anything to do with fps so i just have it at large but i don't think that has to do anything with fps and you know and here's brightness turn this to bright because this will make it so that the dynamic lights so that like the smooth lighting and the dynamic lights are off and increase fps so just uh put it at full bright just the max bright that you can get and so okay so now you're gonna have to have dynamic lights off that's why we put the brightness to all the way up you can use shaders if you want, but in my opinion, uh, I think they're pretty bad for FPS. It just lags computers really badly, so don't have any shaders for PvP, but if you want, then go ahead. Now, let's have the render distance. Let's talk about the render distance. So, the render distance is basically the amount of chunks that will be loaded if you're like, when you're in the game. So, having this at like, oh, oh my god, oh. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> so what you just saw there, um, increasing your render distance to like 60, it's like, it's too way too high. So for PvP in like uh, five uh, render distance, five chunks is good. It's good enough. So yeah. And max frame rate, I don't think this helps, but uh, yeah, I just set it to unlimited. But if you want to, you can set it to 225 or 160. It's just the max your frames can get. I just have it at unlimited. 
Now let's go on to quality. Now these you should probably copy this these settings. Just pause the video and copy these settings. Yeah, they're pretty they're they're um they're pretty good for increasing FPS. So random entities, better snow, just have like half the useless stuff off just like the things you don't need the things are that are not essential that are not essential better grass you can have that off clear water you can have that off uh yeah random entities off better snow off custom colors off natural textures on custom items on yeah and just yeah just copy these settings i think these are the best now let's go on to performance and uh, smooth fps i think I, I i'm not sure i don't think anyone like talks about it that like that much but in, in my opinion but for me it helped me a lot to have it on as well fast render you can just have this off so now let's move on to animations now this is a big one okay so just I have water man water animated off, fire animated off, and redstone animated off. Just turn off all of these on the left. Just turn all of them off on the left, and then turn all of them off. They're just basically just turn all of them off. It will really help you. Like it'll like legit like help you so much, so 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 much. So yeah. It, it, just like having these more animations just it'll just help you your fps a lot so just have these off and yeah and like particles you can set this to decreased that's the best i think and let's go to details so clouds uh i have them off i have clouds off because they just break fps and cloud height, I just have this off because why do I why do I need cloud height if I have clouds off? It just, just makes no sense. I have rain and snow off because you don't want rain and snow being like messing you up in PvP. So just have that off. And then stars. Uh, if you're using a texture pack or like any anything else, the sky won't show if you don't have it on you see if when i turned it off the sky just disappears like in the texture pack it just became black so uh yeah i'm gonna go back i keep on going into sh into shaders with the okay so just have these on so let's just just have stars on it, it like it has the custom sky so yeah just leave the stars on the sky off and sun and moon off fog off and trans cute translucent blocks just put them the fast drop diamonds fast just all fast swamp colors i have swamp colors off just have all of these off like not like all but like most of these and then if they're if you have like a uh a choice then have it like 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 for example trees don't have them at fancy or smart just like if you want to you can put them to smart i, I just have fast because it's the best for fps and yeah, fog start on 0 0.2. And yeah, hold held the uh, hold held item tulips on. Entity shadows. You don't you really don't want shadows, so just have that off. And yeah, so that that's all of the in-game uh, video settings, I guess. And now let's move on to lunar client settings. So uh, if you're on lunar client, press right shift, and this will come up. And then click mods, and yeah, and you will be brought to this screen. So it'll just have a bunch of mods, and it'll it'll say stuff like 1.7 visuals, just all of this cool stuff that all Lunar Client has to offer. And yeah, it's just pretty cool. So so if if you're not already, go to all, and you, so the key to FPS in Lunar Client. You want as less a HUD, aka like stuff on your screen, and I don't know why, but there's like like this pops up a lot, so I'm gonna just turn this off. You want as less um, on your screen as possible. So the only um, screen uh, mods I have is the um, scoreboard and the potion effects, and yeah, that's like the only um, HUD. 
uh, mods I have, and you shouldn't have like a lot of HUD mods on your screen because it'll just lag your FPS and that'll be very bad. So just have like the max you can have on your HUD is like five or six. Just don't go above six. It's like don't have too much on your HUD. Just only have essential mods only. So you don't really need FPS, but um, yeah, you don't you really don't need FPS. You just you don't know, you don't need like to know how much FPS you're getting. But if you want to, I mean, you can. And my FPS is so cr crappy. It's because I'm recording. When I record, it just becomes crappy. And yeah, 1.7 visuals. Just have these on. They're pretty good. Have toggle sneak slash sprints. But uh, you see where it says show HUD. Yeah, it shows it right here, but turn that off because remember you want as less things on your HUD as possible. And I really don't have that much uh, like, I don't really have that much mods, but just like a bit, I don't know. I, I don't know what this does. I'm just going to disable that for the sake of my FPS. Weather changer, this is, uh, I can turn that off. I don't really need that. So yeah, just have as little... Um, just have as little HUD, like, ha just have as little mods as possible. Only have the essentials, like, don't have those useless mods, because they're definitely gonna lag your FPS. So, yeah. Now, you're gonna wanna go to the mods again, and then go to settings. Thing doesn't lag. Go to performance. And then uh, you're gonna wanna have a full bright on. This will again boost your FPS because it won't have like shadows and it won't have dynamic lighting. And the show enchantment glint, I just have all I don't know, and lead yeah, don't don't uh alright. And you can turn these off, they're pretty useless. And uh yeah, and the hide ender portals. Yeah, you're gonna want to turn this to always, unless you're like playing Skyblock or something. Ender portals, there. If, you, if there are any ender portals in your PvP, they'll lag you so much, and they'll lag you so hard. And just, guys, trust me, have hide ender portals on always. Okay, so yeah, it'll really help your FPS. It'll it'll really help and boost it. So yeah, those are like all the things you need to have to boost your FPS, and I'm gonna just play some games of duels. So like, if you're like recording and stuff, and if you just just don't wanna see chat, then uh, there's a mod in Lunar Client that's called Chat, and there's a, a thing where you can disable. It says Show Incoming Messages. Just have that off. If you just like, uh, if you're recording, you don't want to get distracted. Plus, it boosts F your FPS. So, yeah, it, it would help. It would really help because remember, you want as less items on your HUD as possible. I said this like five times already. All right, what is this guy doing? Uh, okay. Okay. Well, GG. If you like record videos and stuff, you're gonna want to see this. So, go to chat in the mod section. And then uh, you see this checkbox that says hide incoming messages. Check check it. In. Have a hide incoming messages on because it will remove all of the incoming messages. You see, I'm not getting any messages. And it'll just remove all of the distractions. It'll just remove the incoming messages. It'll just help your FPS in, in general. So yeah, that that's me. That's for, that's me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this helped you out a lot with your FPS. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.